we have just watched the jury show for semi-final one of the Eurovision Song Contest in Torino. Now, the jury show is very important as it's 50% of the vote. And we are going to run through some of the acts who lifted, who smashed it, and who may be struggling. Now, Liv, let's start off with who smashed it. Who is your um, biggest uh, entry from what we watched this morning? Yeah, it's it's absolutely got to be the Ukraine. Like, that performance. But before they started performing, the crowd was already going bananas. People were clapping through the whole thing unprompted. It definitely got the biggest crowd response. The staging itself is so intricate and detailed and there's a lot of really special little moments there. They smash those vocals. It's something really special. I've got goosebumps. It's it's something. What do you think, Kiri? What was your um, smashed it, nailed it for today? Well, just going on with Ukraine, I, I felt the same. Huge roar and great vibe. Um, great to see as well uh, from Ukraine. My smash to it was Greece. Uh, I'm calling it now like potential jury winner for me. Um, just so impressed with Amanda's vocals. I really love the staging. It kind of go, it goes with the vibe of the song. And uh, when she hits that note, uh, that high note, uh, it was very proud. and It was a very good package overall for me. So very great to see from Greece this year. So let's have a look at acts that lifted. Now, Liv, which one would you like to talk about first? Well, I think we'll start with our show opener, Ronella for Albania. I, um, you know, after everything that's been going down, I think she's put together a really great package here. She sang it really well today. Uh, perhaps in some of the rehearsals there was a touch of strain in her voice, but I didn't hear that this morning. It sounded very nice and uh, I thought she had some fantastic energy. I do think it comes together, particularly with the crowd. It is something that did lift with the crowd. What do you think, Kiri? Yeah, I, I loved her vocals and there's a lot of choreo. I was not expecting that. There's a lot going on and, um, yeah, it really works well. I don't know, it's like, oh, actually, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's a lot going on. Um, <laughs> My next one is, uh, I think we're on agreement here, is Moldova. That really popped. Liv, what do what you think? Oh, my God. These boys just, like, doubled their energy from the rehearsals. From the rehearsals, I mean, they already had energy, but in the today they just, bang, they were out and they were running. And, like, they've changed the colouring on the stage a little bit. It's a bit more bright and colourful. It works better. And I tell you, this was, apart from the Ukraine, this was the second biggest crowd response of the night. People were on their feet. They were standing ovation. It was going off. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, the group really gave like this live concert feel. And it was great energy from them too. So it's a, a quite a nice surprise. Um, I do think, we might talk about this later, but the running order does help them because where they are, the song, the entry just really pops. So, yeah, great to see. Very surprising to see from Moldova. Yeah, they've done a great job. And they've had experience too. This is their third time. So you, it, you could definitely tell uh, this is their their thing. Uh, yeah. What do we have next, Liv? We had the Netherlands, which I, I do think uh, has definitely lifted. What did you think of it, Kiri? Yeah, I, I think going from the rehearsals this is definitely uh the best performance uh, we've seen from uh steen uh so far uh overall yeah her vocals just really good vocals uh very slick and clean uh Liv, what do you think yeah i think in the in the in the rehearsals because there's no um crowd atmosphere that you can hear it, it all sounded a little bit too exposed but once you actually had that hum of the crowd in the background it it sounded really nice the mixing I really really enjoyed it she's sort of loosened up a little bit more there's a bit more warmth down the camera that I'm feeling so all together it's come together uh, more cohesively and it, it does feel like a better package now and uh, the last one we have in our list of uh, lifted was Armenia. Um, I really thought um, her performance really popped and uh, not going to reveal anything to anyone <laughs> um, with what happens. But yeah, Liv, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, this is once again uh, someone who was loosened up a little bit more on stage. I, I get a little bit more down the camera. She's smiling a bit more. She, she's uh, just generally giving a better performance. The vocal tonight was probably the best I've heard from her as well. It was really nice and, and clear. And, uh, yeah, generally all the timing of her intricate staging was done very well, uh, which was a bit hit and miss in the rehearsals. Yeah, I, I really think she's going to do well with the juries with this one. And it's a very contemporary sounding song as well at the moment. Now. 
let's look at um, some of the entries that we th that we think have maybe fallen a little bit after what we watched this morning. Now, these are ones that we think that might not stand out um, out of a jury perspective. Um, now, unfortunately here, I, I've got Slovenia in my list. Um, I just felt maybe uh, there was just, vocally, I thought was actually good. Uh, good that uh, from the rehearsals that we uh, that we saw, um, but I just uh, wanted something extra from the performance. Um, what about you, Liv? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be mean on the kids, but it, it did feel like a bit of an intermission prior to Ukraine. Like it just, it, it's not in a very favourable running order, let's put it that way. And um, the song just kind of didn't really pop very much when you put them all in the context of being next to each other in a running order. I think, uh, yeah, like you said, Kiri, the performance itself was fine and, uh, you know, the camera angles and all that were fine. Um, but, yeah, it just fell away a bit once you put all the rest of the entries in. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think it's the running order that may have not helped them here. Um, the next one we have is... Austria, uh, that actually got a bit of a reaction uh, from the crowd and it does really um, come out uh, from the running order. Liv, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, um, I think it's the best vocal that I've seen Pierre Maria do. You can hear distinctly that there is vocal assistance in, in the background. There is someone who's singing essentially in unison with her to sort of fill out the vocal, which I'm sure a jury member is not going to miss. Um, it was all okay, but like, you know, vocally, it is still quite shaky. What did you think, Kiri? Yeah, I think uh, with the juries, this one's in the danger zone, but luckily for them, I'm pretty sure the, the televote is going to eat this up. Uh, people at home watching are just going to really uh, enjoy this and you can't, you can't help but still move and like dance the song when you listen to it. So it still does have that something, but when it comes to the juries, yeah, um, it's probably sitting in the danger zone there. Now, Liv, should we quickly talk about the running order and the flow of the show? Um, there is definitely, for me, some bit in the middle that's kind of very same-same. Uh, what did you think? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that when we when we see the rehearsals, they're in little chunks, uh, so we never get to see the full show from start to finish. So now that we see the context of it, I don't like the running order. It, you know, you start with a bang with Albania and Latvia, which they're on a very similar kind of energy level, and then it goes okay for a little while. And then there's this run between, you know, Portugal, Croatia, Denmark, Austria, Iceland. Okay, Austria not so much, but Iceland is in there. So four out of five songs that are kind of really slow and stuff down again, and then it ends with Armenia. And Armenia is a nice show closer, and I know why they did that is because of the prop, who it was takes time to set it up and whatnot but overall I feel like there's definitely the energy is not quite balanced properly what do you think yeah I felt a little bit the same there too um I think that's why um Oldova coming after Netherlands it just made them pop and then like then you have these other songs that are very similar just a similar style of music and then Austria. And it just needed some something extra in the middle a bit of a mix-up overall yeah could have done with a slightly different order just so you know, we can't talk about all the entries here. So if we didn't mention a country, it means it actually did good. So what about any notable performances, Liv, before we wrap this up now? Uh, any other performances that um, you you think it's worth mentioning? Yeah, I think, I think Bulgaria is worth mentioning. Um, they put up together a very slick and professional little, little um, program and that last minute really takes off. He's a quite a decent vocalist, uh, the main man, and um, I could really see a jury member quite liking it. I think it's in a, a nice part of the running order. It's just before the Netherlands, so it, it's sort of, you know, got high energy and whatnot. And uh, I think they've really got some momentum going as well. Yeah, I was quite surprised too. Um, the, the the band have a lot of experience, stage experience. You can definitely see that. So yeah, probably now won't surprise me if they did somehow sneak through uh, and qualify. Uh, my notable performance, I have to say, was uh, Norway and Sabulfa. Uh, they really like almost stole the show. They're, they're just one of three or four that really popped in this whole um, run of songs, run of songs. And yeah, I just really enjoyed the performance. How go with the juries? Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> but it's definitely going to be a Televo uh, favourite out of this. Well, these are just our opinions from the jury show. Thank you, Liv, for joining us today. 
And we cannot wait to, for you all to see the show tomorrow and see how it all goes. Catch you later. Bye.